Welcome to the Sunday Gardener. Today we're looking at growing and pruning wisteria. Wisteria is a very vigorous climbing plant and one of the questions I get asked the most on the website is how to make my wisteria flower. It isn't difficult to get wisteria to flower, there's just two things you need to bear in mind. First of all, it's a good idea to buy a wisteria in the spring that's already got flowers on it and then you know it's capable of flowering. The second thing is, to get wisteria to flower, you have to prune it and you have to prune it twice a year and it's the pruning which is the key to flowering. At the moment we're going to look at the summer prune. This wisteria has finished flowering because we're now in August and it flowers early in the year in late April and May. You need to prune wisteria twice a year, in February and in August. Because wisteria is so vigorous it's quite difficult to harm it by pruning but you see here this is the woody part of the wisteria. You should avoid cutting into the woody part of the wisteria because you can damage it. What you're aiming to do in the summer prune is to cut off the long whippy shoots which are developed over the summer to contain it into its allotted space and also to make sure that the plant puts its energies into developing the flower buds that are left on the wisteria after you've pruned it. As wisteria is very vigorous, this wisteria has been in about four years, four or five years, and it's, it's covered the entire front of this building. That means that if you want to prune the wisteria, the upper reaches of the wisteria, you will need to go up ladders and you'll need to prune from the top of the ladders. So I really wouldn't recommend planting a wisteria against a wall like this unless you would, you're happy and feel confident going up ladders. If you do, wisteria makes a magnificent display on a wall such as this. The blooms are beautiful and they are scented, so it really is well worth growing. But let's look at the summer pruning requirements. This is what you're pruning off the wisteria. It's the long summer growth and as you can see it's green whereas the older growth will always be brown and woody and you should avoid pruning into that. This has got several buds on it, one, two, three, four, five, about six, but don't worry about that. What you need to do is cut this long whippy growth off the wisteria and you leave on the wisteria plant the growth with about anything up to six buds and by doing that by removing this growth and these buds, you're forcing the wisteria plant to put its energy into the existing buds and make much bigger and better blooms in the spring. In this close-up, you can see very clearly here the wisteria bud. If you leave all the long growth on, then the plant's got to make all the wisteria buds flower. The purpose of the summer prune is firstly to contain the plant because it is so vigorous but also to reduce the flower buds by cutting down to about five buds left on the stem. Another thing to look at in the summer prune of wisteria is what's called the lateral growth. You can see from this wisteria it's thrown out vigorous shoots from the bottom. It's been a very dry year and a lot of the growth on the wisteria this year has been at this lateral level as opposed to higher up on the plant. What it's doing here is it's running along the ground trying to root because it's such a vigorous plant, it's running its shoots out to root to make more wisteria. With these lateral shoots, the important thing is that you need to cut them off completely, which we'll just look at now. Here we have the lateral growth on the wisteria, and these need to be cut off completely, right down to the very base, snipping them all off so that they they are clear from the plant. You don't want to leave any of these growing at all as it's most important that you cut off all the lateral growth. 